everybody welcome back to my channel I hope you're doing fabulously and safely um, my name is Pixie and if you're new here you already know that um, I hope you had a wonderful new year and a very happy holidays and we're just gonna do a chatty get ready with me to bring in the new year um, we are going to use this she glam palette it is my first Shein she glam item <laughs> So I wanted to kind of review it and then just talk about things. So let's get started. And if you're new here, welcome. Um, 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 I already primed. I used the W7 Princess Potion. And I was catching up on videos, which I'm still so far behind. And we got my ears to keep my hair out of my face. And I knock everything over, yay. But, cheers, I hope you had a wonderful time and a safe time bringing in the new year. Um, I skipped my usual intro because I wanna try something different by not saying that every time. Uh, but yeah, I want to approach my channel in a different way. I'm still gonna do hauls and lookbooks. I'm just picking random brushes at this point. But I also want to do more kitchen vlogs. I want to record during the day. I want to take you on my adventures. And yeah. So first we're gonna go in with the AOA Perfect BB Cream. I get mine in fair. This is from Shop Miss A. I have a haul coming. Super excited. Always excited for some Shop Miss A. I want to get way better at responding to comments. I want to record more during the day because I always wait until everybody goes to sleep and then um, these ears are not working for me. I just feel like I'm putting on makeup for no reason, but I'm gonna try to film more often and keep a variety going on my channel. Of course, I have goals for, you know, more subscribers, but not for the typical reasons. I don't really, Care if I monetize at this point. I want to have fun with it, but I just want to reach a lot of people and make more friends because I love our little YouTube circle currently, but I'm always down for more channels to watch and such. I am a stay-at-home wife right now. I'm looking into Poshmark to sell some stuff off that I've held on to for a long time that I feel like other people could appreciate. I, am, I ordered new sponges for the new year because I keep trying to wash mine and I don't know how to wash them because I can never get all the makeup out and I'm sure they're full of germs and it's disgusting. I've had this like thing right here and it always feels like those sleep crusties but it won't go away no matter what I do. So I think it's winter skin. So just ignore that. And... I don't know. I'm always like embarrassed to record in public and I need to stop that. And um, yeah, I just want to branch out and do more things with my channel. I'm sure tired. I'm sure, I'm sure people are tired of this background of the same closet. So yeah, Poshmark, selling off some stuff that I think other people could appreciate. I have to admit, I will never be a size zero again, which is fine, because I was way too skinny. And I feel healthier now, even though I'm not like a rail anymore, but that's fine because I don't need to be that skinny. I was not healthy. I was like anemic and stuff. Um, had an ED for the longest time. It was an uphill battle the whole way slowly getting over my body dysmorphia type thing so I'm going in with the AOA liquid concealer no matter how healthy I am I always have these bad boys right here these under eye circles so oh wait I'm going in out of order I'm gonna go in with the NYX yellow for the under eye circles I need to clean this mirror so badly um, I don't know if my goodwill will allow video but some do some do some don't some don't care but I want to take you on adventures 
And more than just Disney with music in the background, I want to actually talk to you about like what I'm doing at Disney, which I've done a couple times, but then I forget because I'm like in the moment, which is not a bad thing. Now we're going in with the concealer. And um, I don't want it to be the year of hauls, but it will probably still be the year of hauls because I'm a shopaholic and I have a problem. But do you ever feel like now that you have money as an adult, you can buy what your inner high school broke person wanted? Your broke high school self? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm not alone in that. So, yeah. <laughs> My wardrobe just grows and grows because the inside, like, the 15 year old in me at Hot Topic is screaming because now I can afford the stuff and clothes are way much cooler now in my 30s. But speaking of 15, I have all of these. I'm working on a video too, but I had like the BD reared its ugly head during the video journey of trying on the trip pants and the raver pants. So I'm actually going to sell some of them off. <laughs> which I talk about in that video, in that little journey, because it's taken me three days. So I'm like, we're gonna try something else and go back to that little venture. Um, the video discuss, discusses what like raver and punk and goth pants I have in my collection and which ones I'm willing to let go of. And the other ones that are like too sentimental to let go of that I like wore to death, or they might be customized and have like my name on the butt in fabric paint. Pretty sure nobody wants those. And uh, I, I would be surprised if they did. But yeah, um, I'm gonna be making some sale listings on I think Poshmark. I haven't really done a lot of research on which is the best. So let me show you the palette. Uh, this is the Finn Within palette. And I got it in my last Shein haul in 2021. Ah, I can say that now, finally. So it's got a little fishy and it's all pixelated and this is what it looks like. So we're going to do a look with these colors, Bye Bye Plastic. There's no mirror, but it's just that hard cardboard. So we have one, two, three, three glitters, it looks like four glitters, three shimmers, four shimmers and four mattes. Okay, I can count. But there's no base color, so I'm going to go in with my Bad Habit Athena to start. And I'm going to go in with Purity right here as our base, which is more skin tone, so our neutral tone and not white, so we can see how truly bright these colors are. But I'm ready to purge my closet and make some money, and hopefully these pants just to start, I'm going with the pants. Go to a good home, and then I'm gonna get back into my seamstress scene, but it's not gonna be what I used to do, which was alterations and custom wedding dresses, because one, I still, I've talked about this like last year, I'm still not sure if Big Wedding will come back. And that was like my main gig, was huge gathering, family and friends, you got your dress in the mail, or you didn't want to pay David's Bridal or whatever for alterations. I was your girl. And my trash cans are over there. I'm not doing weddings anymore. I don't want to. I want to take control of, oh, I'm going in with my Sherry Moya Max Makeup, very cheapo brand from an outlet. I am going in with this bronzer as my contour. I freaking love it. I don't know why I'm addicted to it. I switched from the Rue 21 Rue Beauty one because I hit pan, which is another goal of mine. I'll get to that in a minute. But weddings, even though I did them for some of my really close friends, weddings came to be a pain in the neck. You know, I just didn't want to do them anymore because then I'm on a time crunch and I have to like go to the wedding. No offense, but I had to go to the wedding to make sure like nothing happened armed with my sewing kit and then some people were really rude they wanted to invite me to the wedding as like a guest and I was kind of flattered but then they were like here's my registry and I was like ouch <laughs> like you just paid me I I'm, I don't have a lot of money anyway it's not even here or there and I forgot to grab a highlighter I thought I grabbed one okay, we're just gonna go in with this one because this is about the eyeshadow look 
I don't even know what brand this is. I don't know. Anyway, it looks like this. It's got this rose gold tint to it. Borderline brush, blush, borderline highlighter. So, unicorn brush. But I loved doing the dresses for my friends and seeing their pictures and seeing how happy they were and then bragging that I did their dresses and that was always nice and flattering. <clears throat> but I want to do costumes. Costumes, I want to do customs, I want to do orders, I want to do all sorts of stuff. But I'm, I think the weddings took up too much time. Like it was so time consuming. I couldn't do, I'm like talking with my brush. <sighs> Someone just went to the bathroom, so I got distracted. I couldn't do what I wanted to if I was in the middle of my own project or like a design, like my own design or something I wanted to like eventually sell or even patent someday in the future. I'm 36, I'm not getting any younger. I would have to focus all of my time on those wedding dresses and it was just distracting eyebrow time. Apparently I can't multitask. I made good money. They're like sisters. Um, I made good money. It wasn't like exactly a living, but great experience though. It made me realize what I wanted to do, and what I didn't want to do, and that was weddings apparently. <laughs> but it took me a long time to realize that and actually like the shutdown and stuff helped with that to get me to that point because I took a, a step back because there were no weddings. And then I was like, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm going to find something else to do with my time and my sewing machine. So here is the palette. I don't know. We'll go in with this. I like this purple color, Water Orchid. That's my favorite color if I had to pick one. It's like that light purple. And then we'll go in with maybe this pink and that orange. Maybe some yellow. We'll do like a little rainbow something going on. Let me zoom you in just a little bit. And yeah, so financial wise, I definitely am done with weddings. I might do a couple here and there, but I'd rather do like a custom wedding dress and sell it and just do that. Fluffy brush. Um, there we go. It's a matte. It's a little fallouty. Okay. That'll do, Pig. That'll do. Oh, Charlotte's Web? No? Oh, this light isn't bright enough. It's driving me crazy. I'm prepared. I'm an adult. I was at the thrift store the other day. That was fun. Um, it's always fun to thrift, but not when your credit card's declined when you know there's money on it. Long story. But I found these sheets that I had to put back, but then I ordered them off Poshmark. Speaking of Poshmark. Oh, there's like no fallout yet. And I was like, I wanna go home with these sheets and make a freaking dress. That's what I want to do. I want to go find recycled fabric and make dresses and skirts like I used to when it was just fun. When I was first learning how to sew. I love this purple already. Also about she, she glam, I've, I do not have words tonight. I apologize. I'm going to be stammering through this whole video because I've been up since 11 cleaning. It is now 11.45. So I've been up for 12 hours and 40 minutes, 45 minutes. I also can math. But when I was learning how to sew, I would just take fabric that was in like my mom's storage from when she used to sew and make random leg warmers because I felt like it and make a, a skirt or two. And here's that pink called Coattails. Lots of fallout, but I like that color a lot. 
and I was like, damn, I miss this. Just like picking out fabric at Joann's or Hobby Lobby or an old sheet or old curtains like that two year skirt I showed a couple months ago because I wanted to. And for a while, doing the wedding dresses and stuff and the formal wear, like as I did bridesmaids dresses too, I lost like my passion because now it's a job. Like when you're a chef, you stop smelling the food. You're no longer tempted and it doesn't make you hungry. You're, it's, it's just your job. When I was a DJ, you would listen to music and it just became your job. And like I would get in my car and turn off the radio when I was off work because I got burnt out on music. So they say do what you love, but you have to be careful about that because I got burnt out because I love music and I love sewing and I love fashion and I got burnt out on that but I mean if it's truly your passion and you don't lose that passion that's one thing that was looking really nice I love it oh and by the way if you're new here I'm not a makeup pro at all I just wear what makes me happy <laughs> so and my head my eyes are slightly hooded so I always go up what would be too much but here we are and Bam. I do like that a lot. But yeah, so I want to just sew for myself at least for a while and I might go back. But it's so pretty. And I don't do a lot of cat eyes because of that scar right there. And let's see. I don't know where to put the yellow. Because this is going to be a quick get ready with me and I'm probably going to record right after this with a haul. Of course I am. I just said I wasn't going to do any hauls, but I went thrifting the other day, so you're going to have to deal with it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to find out what... I'm just going to play around with my sewing machine for the next couple months and then see what makes me happy. Probably start with making dresses out of weird sheets. But <laughs> let's play with this yellow a little bit which is called Island Fever. And yeah, even though this is my first time using this palette right here, Shein has tempted me with Apple Alerts and yes, I want like six more palettes, but we're gonna... Did I mention that I'm not sure if it's cruelty free? Cause that's where I was going with it and then I got distracted by myself. Yeah. So I was a little skeptical and I can't find anything on the internet, but then of course Shein claims that they are cruelty free, but then like the company can say that and there's nobody on the internet to back that yet so I don't know I prefer my makeup to be cruelty free you know and stuff anyway here's the yellow <sighs> fallouty as most mats are so it's got a pretty typical consistency so far of like a cheap O palette but I don't mind it okay it's a good yellow. It's not the best yellow. I'm very picky about my yellows because usually they suck. But this would be a fun palette to take to travel. So <clears throat> because I think it was like six bucks, you wouldn't care if it broke. I mean, you might care, but it wouldn't be hard to replace for the price. And it came packed really well. I'll leave a card for the Shein haul. And I'll show you, it came like double, triple like styrofoam wrapped, so it definitely was not broken. Especially for coming from overseas. Pretty freaking good. Because I would probably not ever use Wish again. Now that I've used AliExpress once and Shein twice now, I can't go back to Wish. They're about the same level though, I think, for like the amount of time it takes and the quality, but Wish you just can't trust at all. That's what we have so far. It's not the best, like I said, I'm not a pro. It's just fun. It's colorful, I'm happy. <laughs> Let's do a dark color and then some glitter. So we have this deep blue shimmer, which I'm not a fan of deep blue in the waterline. It's really hard to pull off for me. And then we have swim for the wind in this dark purple bluish color. So let's do that. Swatchy swatch. Oh my goodness. That is dark. That is dark. 
so yeah wow okay okay i see you she glam fishy palette holy crap okay so we're gonna use this little eyeliner brush and just kind of dab it hope i don't get a ton of fallout A little goes a long way for that purple, but <laughs> okay, I see you. Who needs blending? <laughs> it, it's working. Well, that's fine. Because that's super fun already. Oh my god. Uh, 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 uh. Anyway, um, the fun part about Goodwill was <laughs> my mom gave me a check for Christmas to go to Goodwill. And I told Ronnie, I was like, go put this in the bank. Like, I have my own debit card too, but. You go to the bank all the time before you go to work anyway, so just take this check, put it in the bank, and I'm going to go thrifting. He's like, okay. And then, uh, he, like, balanced all the credit cards. <laughs> and, uh, bless his heart. Bless his heart. He forgot about the check and then deposited it later, but then he, like, gave me one of these credit cards, and he was like, this has X amount on it, so just go shopping. I'm like, okay, cool. And it was about the amount of the check that my mom gave me. I think we're going to go in with this. Even though I just said it, like, dark blue isn't flattering as a... I'm like, oh, where are you? Um, this wouldn't be flattering as a waterline for me. I don't know why dark purple would be any better, but here we are. <clears throat> I think we'll go with this hooked on you. It's like... That grayish, I guess, blue... Because yeah, that's like aquamarine and teal and all that. Well, we're going to go with that. I'm just in the corner of my eye. Why isn't there a purple glitter? <coughs> Allergies, yay. Um, so, I'm like, alright. I let him know that next day I'm going thrifting. I go to Goodwill. I do my thing. I do my thing. And... I go to checkout. <coughs> Cards declined. I can't stop coughing. Hold on. I'm pissed. Like, I'm getting upset because it wasn't that busy when I walked into Goodwill, but of course, as my luck would have it, now there's like eight to ten carts behind me waiting to check out. I'm like, of course. So I'm like, okay, maybe it wasn't the amount he thought, but I know there's at least like $90 or something on it. The check was for $150. But because he moved money around, the check didn't go to the credit card and went to our bank account, and then he put money on the credit card. That credit card had a bigger limit. So I was like, okay, I did have lunch yesterday, the day before, so maybe that's still processing or something. So I took a couple of things off, including those badass Zum Zum Disney sheets that I was going to make a dress out of, which I later found on Poshmark because then I was obsessed with the idea. There's the glitter in the corner. I keep looking in the viewfinder, I'm sorry, because I'm trying to see where I'm pointing. And I don't mind the look. It's pretty good. So I'm putting stuff back, and I was like, okay, try it again. And she's like, okay, no problem. I'm like, I'm so sorry. This is embarrassing. And um, she's really nice and understanding, and the people behind me, like, they haven't been waiting too long, so I'm not freaking out yet. Then it's declined again. And I'm like, okay, hold on. Now I'm freaking out. Something came the credit card got hacked. Oh yeah, this is my eyeliner. Eye sh eyelash primer. Mascara primer. I have words. Told you. Long day. And so I call Ronnie. Yes, babe. Uh, the destiny's being declined. It's like, okay, hold on. 
shouldn't be. It's supposed to be 191 or something. I'm like, okay. He's pulling up the Destiny app, which is the name of the credit card or whatever. And I'm like, all right, so what's the deal? And he's like, how much was your lunch? And I was like, $22, cause I had lunch with Crystal for our annual Christmas gift exchange for my best friend. Oh, this is the uh, Fat Lash by AOA, also Shop Miss A. And he's like, uh, the card's frozen. What did you spend $90 on? I'm like, nothing. So that's when I'm really starting to think that the credit card got hacked. The annual fee came through and they froze it till the annual fee processed. I'm like, look, Roddy, I'm holding up like 20 people in the Goodwill line and about to have a panic attack. So he's like, okay, I am so sorry. Just put it on the regular bank account and then we'll figure it out when we get home. And I'm like, oh my God. So we finally check out. I check out and this lady is like, I was like, I'm so sorry. I thought my credit card was hacked and it was frozen. She's like, I, it happens. It's the holidays. So she's understanding. I just got mascara on my freaking eyelid. <laughs> and I'm like, what we should have done is you should have just taken the check, put it in the bank account, and pulled the cash out. So that way I knew exactly how much I had to spend because anytime I check out at Goodwill, I get a panic attack anyway. <laughs> just because I'm like, oh god, did I just spend $200 at a thrift store? You know, especially since Goodwill prices went up again. I'm like, why is this skirt $7? It used to be $2.99. Um, so I told Ronnie, I was like, I'm never doing that again. I was like, no, 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 we're not doing this again. So, oh, I keep trying to, yeah. I don't think you need to see my pores tonight. Okay. It's pretty good. I mean, it's not like amazing, but for the price, that's great coverage. So that was fun. I put a bunch of stuff back that like half was buyer's remorse and half I was like maybe that's something above telling me I don't need it because I have like similar stuff at home and I'm trying to purge and like be wise in my spending but once I go thrifting like it's all chaos. It's all over from there on out. You give me money and you send me to the thrift store we're done here. <laughs> but I still got good stuff you know. I'm, I'm going back. <clears throat> on Thursday because I have some donations. I think I'm going Thursday. Maybe Wednesday or Thursday. But <laughs> that was a great start to the new year. I mean, it wasn't technically in the new year, but it was like my last me day before the new year. So it was like my last shopping trip, like just me. Um, we'll put some uh, lip gloss on by Paris Hilton because it's right here. Just to finish the look and be like, mm, oh, how do influencers do it? Oh, like slow motion. Anyway. You get the point. I'm not making fun of influencers. You guys are awesome. I can't do it. But yeah, I was like, thanks for giving me anxiety while I'm checking out and making it worse. But anyways, yeah, I apologize to the people behind me and they're like, it's okay. It's like a crazy lady over here and she doesn't have money. You know, it was just, <sighs> I like, that lip gloss did nothing but make it shiny. But I like Paris Hilton stuff. It's cruelty free. It's pretty. It's holographic. Looks cool in the bottle. It looks fancy when you pull it out of my purse. Mm. Uh, and I'm really glad I didn't take you thrifting with me because I didn't know that was going to happen, obviously. And you. I was near tears and I just like took my car and like rushed to my car and it was hot and my AC stopped working in my car because Florida in December. <laughs> um, <laughs> I called Ronnie and I was like, I can't fucking believe that. Blah, blah, blah. Like, yeah, <clears throat> it was, it was not good. It was, it was so frustrating, but he said, I'll, he didn't even know when the annual fee would come out for the credit card and then he also didn't know that it would freeze the credit card until the annual fee processed or whatever i don't know how credit cards work he just told me to go shopping you know like 
uh, okay. <laughs> you tell me to go shopping, you say there's money. I'm, I'm gone, especially thrifting. And I even thought I was being like reasonable. I put some stuff back in before this happened. You know, anyway, here's the makeup. Here's the palette. Let's look at it again. So yeah, I would recommend She Glam. I think this is the collection name, Wild Heart. So if you go to the Shein app, I'm sure this will pop up. But this one is called Fin Within. I liked it because it has that like 80s, 90s pixelated computer video game thing going on. And that yellow. If you've watched my previous Get Ready's with me, you know I'm looking for a good yellow forever. Let's swatch this like grand finale. Get it? Fish? Fina fin? Okay. Um, I don't think I have a shimmery yellow in my collection. Now that I've kept you for like 30 hours, it's pretty. <clears throat> you can even see the shimmer on the camera, but it's definitely shimmery. But yeah, that is my new year, new me, thrifty nightmare update. And I really kind of like the palette. This is definitely something I would reach for again. The colors are bold. I do like that light purple a lot because a lot of those light purples are like, they show up as like gray. <laughs> you know, like they're not always good purples. They don't always look like in the palette. But yeah, 31 minutes, holy crap, I am so sorry. I'm gonna use a makeup remover, a vino, ultra calming for my hand and see how bad it stains. There's a little bit of pink, but that's to be expected. See the pink streaks? So it removes quite easily, which is always a thing. Like if it's like four in the morning, I'm taking my makeup off. I don't want to have that like pink shadow driving you crazy. But anyways, I will see you in the next video. If you are new here, welcome. Happy New Year. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, do all the things you're supposed to do. When you like somebody on YouTube, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about these uh, palettes that Shein came out with, She Glam. Have you ordered from Shein? Uh, do you know if they're cruelty free? I'm always curious and I prefer my stuff to be cruelty free if I can help it to my knowledge and yeah again I will see you in the next video sorry this was so awkward if you're not new here you know I'm always awkward and I will talk to you very very soon love you so much bye love you so much awkward pixie out love you bye